It has been nothing short of an emotional roller coaster the last seven days and some change here in the village of Faulkner. Today in the city of Jamestown, Jamestown Police Chief Harry Snellings announced the arrest and charges against Jonathan Young, a 19-year-old Faulkner boy accused of setting 12 fires. In the village of Faulkner, people are reacting. This man manages a shop on West Main Street. He says he's so grateful, but the village needs to rebuild and they need the community support. Hopefully once we can reopen, help get a little more traffic back down into the village, you know, and hopefully go from there. What do you need from the community? Just to know we didn't close. <laughs> um, their support, um, the two businesses that are left down here, you know, the pet store and the vac shop, and uh, along with our deco mesh designs, and then we have a girl that's going to be coming in next door. Um, parties are us, so we're hoping that, you know, the four of us together can try to build something back up here business-wise. Business owners, local residents are reacting. Reacting to a sign that pretty much sums it up. Danger, demolition, area, keep out. The village of Faulkner, 29 through 39 West Main Street, reduced to lumber, brick, ash, all contaminated by a smoky fire. Mary Gay did not know that 19-year-old Jonathan Young was named a suspect in the Faulkner arson, but she sure was happy. That is fantastic. If anybody should be behind bars, it would be that person who set this place on fire. So many lives. So many lives affected. Can you fathom somebody starting a fire? I Honestly can't. Honestly knowing there are people in the building. No, I cannot. The person had to have been sick. Very, very sick. It is sickening, it is frustrating for many business owners who continue to pour their hearts out to us. If you were to go into this tape and go into that, what was the body shop owned by Dave Luke, you would get a nauseating feeling in your stomach. Dave gets the same thing. He said he was at a loss for words as the fire was burning at 29 through 39 West Main Street. I didn't know what to do. You know, you don't, you can't go save anything. You're just sitting on the side of the street letting this thing burn. Oh, helpless. Yeah, helpless. There you go. That's a good word. I didn't know couldn't do anything. No control. No control. I don't know why who would just build, burn down buildings. I don't see the motive behind it. I don't. I don't see any purpose behind what happened. Nothing had, like, no, no good came out of what happened. You know what I mean? That excavator behind me is a microcosm of the village of Faulkner. It was once at the bottom, but now it's on top. And that's how people feel. They feel they will bounce back. They feel they will have a good future and they feel they will rebuild. It's going to be a tumultuous period though. The road at West Main Street between 29 and 39, according to Jim Retzel, the mayor of this village, is set to open in the next couple of days. Reporting for the village of Faulkner, where reaction is still pouring in about Jonathan Young, a Faulkner boy, being named a suspect in this terrible fire. I'm Ryan Hedrick, WNY News Now, where coverage comes first.